Hello, this, I'm Miss Danielle from the Grimshaw Municipal Library and we're here to show you our next featured creature. So um, the next take and make craft that we're doing is this cute little guy here. He's a platypus and these are called pony beads. So some of you may have done pony beads before, some of you might not have. So we're going to just do a really quick um, tutorial so that we can show you how to do the arms because they can be a little bit tricky sometimes. So in your kit this month you're going to find the instructions and um, you're going to find these yummy eggs. Now the reason we're giving you these is because these eggs are just a little bit bigger than what a baby platypus would be when it hatches out of its egg. Platypuses are very interesting animals, and so we also have an information sheet for you. And on this information sheet, you can do some coloring and stuff. Um, but this is what a real platypus looks like. They're pretty crazy, but they're so cute. The, so the main thing you're going to find in your bag is this egg. Now when you open this egg, you have to be very careful because there's stuff inside. So all of your beads and your cord is in here. So when you open it, you want to make sure the big side's at the bottom. Give it a little pinch and there's all your stuff inside. Okay. And after you're done your platypus, he actually fits in the egg. It's like we planned it. Okay. So what I like to do is um, when I have my, my uh, cord, I like to make the ends the same length, and then you pinch it in the middle, and we're just gonna tie a knot at the top so that if you want to, you can put a little loop through there, you can hang it on your keychain, just kind of a little hook, just like that. Then, I also like to use um, tape to tape it down to some kind of a surface that I'm working on because um, sometimes, it will twist on you. So I'm just going to clean this spot a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do, so I tied my knot. Now I'm going to tape this down just like that. Okay. So I'm going to show you how this cord is a lot shorter than the one you're going to have in your container because I'm just going to show you a little bit of this. So we're going to make his nose part first. So what you're going to do is you're going to count your beads. So you need one, two yellow ones. So we're going to take two yellow beads and you're going to stick them on your cord like that. Then you're going to take your other cord. Now this is the tricky part. You have to go in this way. If you can see that in like that. And so you're kind of making a loop with it, like that. And you just even it up. So if, I'll just show you this real quick. If you decide to go this way, you got your cords on here, and instead of going through kind of, call it the back end, if you go and take your cord the same way that you put your first two beads on, it does that, okay? So you always go opposite, opposite to what you put your first beads your, through your cord. So we're gonna go like that. Okay, so we have two. And the next one, we have one, two. And this string shows you how you go through the beads, okay? So we're gonna take two more beads. One, two. And remember, we're going through this way, like that. And you pull it. And you want to pull it snug. You don't want to pull it so tight that you're stretching your cords, but you want to pull it snug so it lays flat. Okay, so the next one, two. So do two more. Remember, we go through this way. Oh. <laughs> and then it changes to three. One, two, three. So we're going to take three beads. One, two, three, 
and again we're gonna go in the opposite direction and you're gonna pull it okay and then you can kind of just adjust your string so that everything lines up so that's gonna be the bill part and then you'll go on to your purple remember when you get here you're gonna do purple black purple black purple so now I'm gonna go move to a different spot so I can show you how to do these arms because they can be a little bit tricky okay so we're just gonna move over here and here I already have I already have my bill my purple and my two black eyes and then I came to my arms so this is what they look like on here then we went down to here so this is where I am right now right at this spot okay so you can see that I need one two three four five yellows now this is why it's tricky so I'm gonna put all five of my yellows on right now okay so one two three four five five yellows okay so now we see we have one two and then we have these two up here so I'm gonna take my cord and I'm gonna string it through two beads here okay and give it a pull and this by doing this we just made this loop right here okay see how that is then we're going to take the cord and we're going to string it back down through these two here. Now you don't want to go through the purple, just through the yellow. And then you pull it tight and you just kind of keep adjusting things. This is why it's tricky. You got to kind of adjust, adjust, adjust until you get it. So the first loop that you made made his paw or his flipper and then you came back down the rest of his leg to come out at the body. Yeah. Is that right? That's okay. right. Yeah. So we're going to do the other side now. So that's his that's his leg there, okay? <laughs> sometimes sometimes they just want to roll weird and that's okay. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to put five beads on here. So we got our one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So remember, we're going to go, we have our two leg beads, then our paw beads, our flipper beads. We're going to take our string and go through those two. So we're kind of making this little loop. So it looks like looks like that and then you're going to take your string and go back through these two but not through the purple just through the leg not to the body yeah i'm so glad they're a different color and then like that see for some reason this one laid up nicer than this one not sure why it's just the way it is sometimes with these guys. Okay, and so then you have your next legs there, and then you would move on to your purples, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six purples. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and you do the same you do the same motion that you did with the bill and the head the rest of the body you take your other string you go in the opposite direction the longer it is the more you're going to have to kind of lay with it the longer your string is okay there we go give it a little pull and you have his um starting on his body again and then you just keep going until you get to the bottom here and once you get to the bottom this is what he'll look like you're gonna tie a knot so your string is gonna look like when you're done your strings just gonna come out both sides like that so 
then you just tie a knot. And I always tie a few knots because I don't want it to come undone. Another knot, another knot. You can tie as many knots as you want, as much as you got string for, and then that's him. Then, if you want, you can cut this off shorter, but don't cut it too short because your knot will come undone. So this is our platypus. So once you've made it, we would love to see what they look like. And so you could send us a picture and we can maybe put it up on Facebook. Okay, we'll see you in March to pick up your packages. Bye.